Uh, we begin tonight with a ray of hope for hundreds of thousands of retired city workers whose health benefits were suddenly changed. Those former employees call it a bait and switch deal between Mayor de Blasio and the unions. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer here now. She's been following the story. Marsha. Well, Dana, if the next mayor has his way, an army of retired teachers, cops, correction officers, and other former city employees will get help in keeping their health benefits that they were promised when they went to work for the city. Both men buying to replace Bill de Blasio said the city needs to honor its pact with its employees who took off in low-paying jobs because the benefits were so good. You don't become a civil servant to become a billionaire. You become a civil servant to have stable health care, a stable pension, and a stable life. And we cannot destabilize it after they retire. Democratic mayoral candidate Eric Adams says if he wins the election, he will review the controversial deal worked out by Mayor de Blasio and the unions to save $600 million with a massive change to the health insurance offered to 250,000 retirees. People like former NYCHA employee Bill Shenton and his wife Susan who are faced with the choice of accepting the city's new plan, Medicare Advantage Plus, or opting out to maintain their existing insurance, which will cost them an extra $200 a month each. I feel that it's a betrayal. We were promised that this was going to be for life, that we'd have the same insurance that we had when we were working and it would cover our families, and now it's being taken back from us. The Shentons say they have to pay to stay in the old plan because the new one would cover only a fraction of the medicine Susan takes for chronic lung disease. Many people don't realize I'm a retiree. As a retired cop, the issue is personal for Adams. I have to really look at it and see what are my powers, if I'm the, fortunate to be the mayor, of reversing or see how do we don't destabilize retirees. Nothing is more frightening to a retiree that is that's starting to go through health care crises. You could definitely call it a bait and switch. You're promised one thing. Uh, you get priority health care. The doctor of your choice the medicine of your choice, the therapy of your choice, the specialists of your choice, and now all of a sudden, you're no longer given that promise. That, that is breaking your word. Republican mayoral candidate Curtis Sliwa says he would also seek to undo the deal if he replaces Bill de Blasio. And it's not like all of a sudden there's no money in the system. You promise them, let's come up with the money. Let's start eliminating all of the de Blasio programs that were not effective or almost didn't exist and spend the money where we promised the people that they would have health care. I'd say to the mayor that he's Looking, he may be looking out for his bottom line, but he's not looking out for the people. Well, a group of retirees have filed suit in Manhattan Supreme Court to stop the plan from going through. They say they are not legally represented by the unions who negotiated the deal. And the Edna Insurance Company is also challenging the move, saying the company hired by the city was an unqualified bidder. Dana? Marsha, thank you.